As always, if you haven't done so yet, just make sure that you pause the video and give the question a try on your own before listening on. In this problem, we have an electric dipole that is placed in a uniform electric field. And anytime an electric dipole is placed in a uniform electric field, then that electric dipole can attain some electric potential energy. So let's take a look at the equation that gives us the electrical potential energy of that dipole. So U would represent the potential energy of that electric dipole. P is the dipole moment, and we're actually looking for the magnitude of the dipole moment in this question. And then E is the electric field. Now we recall that with a dot product, you are allowed to rewrite it as follows. You'll still keep the negative sign in front, but we can re-express the dot product as the magnitude of the dipole moment multiplied by the magnitude of the electric field and then multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the electric field and the electric dipole. And if we take a look at this point on the graph right over here, we can see that at that point, the angle between the electric field and the electric dipole is zero degrees. We can also see that the electrical potential energy U is equal to negative 100. And then notice the, the scale of the y-axis here. You'd have to multiply that by 10 to the negative 28. And this will be in joules. Furthermore, the question notes that the magnitude of the electric field is 14 newtons per coulomb. So what we can do is plug in these three known values, and that's going to allow us to calculate the magnitude of the dipole moment. So let's go ahead and plug in all the knowns. Okay, here we go. Now we know that the cosine of zero degrees is just equal to one. So this term essentially can be omitted. To solve for P, which is the magnitude of the dipole moment, we can divide both sides of this equation by negative 14 newtons per coulomb. And when we work that out on our calculators, we'll get roughly 7.14 times 10 to the negative 28th and then the unit at this point would be joules divided by newtons per coulomb. This is the correct answer for the magnitude of the dipole moment, but we probably want to clean up that unit a little bit. So we have joules being divided by a newton per coulomb. Remember that when you divide by a fraction, you can re-express that as multiplication of the reciprocal. So you'll have joules times coulombs over newton. Remember also that a joule is the same thing as a Newton meter. So when you multiply Newton meter by a coulomb per Newton, these Newtons will cancel out and that will leave you with the final unit as coulomb meters. So we could express the answer as 7.14 times 10 to the negative 28th coulomb meters. That will be the magnitude of the electric dipole.